Okay, so this is the a demo for figure 3D for Fraser Science Paper. Uh, the Fraser Science Paper figure 3D basically use permutation, generate a random network, and then calculate the thinness between pairs of interacting genes. So I first, uh, be, since I'm, I know I'm going to calculate the, the average thinness between pairs in uh, many times, so I first write a function, and I call this differ.ypd, and this is a function calculation based on pairs of genes. So I first use a match function, uh, I'm, I match the the first operating frame to the thinness uh, of RF members, and then based on the matching position, I put a, put the thinness YPD into the uh, assign it to the first genes in the interacting pairs. I do the same thing for the second RF in the input uh, pairwise interactions. And <coughs> since now I have the thinness data for YPD1 and YPD2 for the input pairs. I calculate the difference between them, so the YPD1 minus YPD2, and then I calculate uh, the absolute value, ABS for absolute value. I, there's a, a small technical detail here. I say remove all those uh, not available values. That way the calculation <coughs> will ignore all those missing data and then I calculate a mean for the pair the difference between pairs of these fitness values. Are you webcasting this? That's right, yeah. No, that's in data, right? That's not the. That's not. You have to match everything to the same data frame. So here is the input. Uh, this is the function. Besides, this is the function you are going to calculate for many random pairs. You you can. It's not possible to put everything all this random in one spreadsheet. Okay. Right. Uh, well, it's going to be very difficult. Yeah. So I first run this function on the observed, which is a pair. That pairs is uh, the original interacting pairs. I run my function on the observation, and this calculation I call it dot obs for observation. So that's the observation. I I now need to permutate my random pair many times and calculate the the the, ob the random permute YPD many times and generate a histogram, and then look at how many of those the uh, Simulated uh, absolute uh, uh, average absolute fitness differences are uh, more extreme than the observations. That's the definition of p-value. So, um, first I generate random uh, uh, pairs. I'm going to generate one thousand random pairs. So this is a temporary uh, storage. A storage. For simulations, I'm going to simulate n times, which is 1,000 times here. And again, I put the original pairs into a long list. Uh, so original pairs is in two columns. I put this into a single column, and I also calculate the total length. This is uh, basically the length of the entire uh, operating frame because I want to cut it into the middle and then separate it back into uh, uh, two, two columns. Okay, so I'm going to simulate 1,000 uh, times, so I'm going to use a loop. I'm going to loop over the 1,000 simulations. And I use the sample command to permutate the original ID. Then I, I call that new IDs. This is basically a random, randomly reshuffled ID. I then I pick the first half, I calculate the total length here, I divided that by two. That will be I went to the one over the total length divided by two, and that's the first half. I put the first half 
as a ORF1. And then when what's the start of the second half? That's the the total length divided by two plus one. That's the just over the border. And all the way to the last one, which is uh, the last one will be the total length. That's my ORF2. And then put this into a data frame. I call that new pairs. And then call the my diff.ypd function again. That's Remember, that's one calculation. So I assign it by uh, the bracket i. That's my, all this is just one simulation. I simulate this <coughs> one thousand time, and the histogram of this simulation will be basically the null distribution. And all I need to find out is how many of my simulated ones are more extreme than my observation here. Now, since my observation is like this. My simulated distribution could be like this bell-shaped curve. My observation is on the left-hand side. That means it's uh, smaller than the average. So the more extreme, the smaller will be less than my observation. So I go to basically say here, how many are more extreme is less than my observation. That's the, uh, the those are, will be used to calculate the p-value. Basically, the number of observations, it's the length of the subset of that, and divided by the total length of that. And basically, that's the 1,000 here. The, my total length of my simulated uh, uh, delta YPD, that's, the, that's this value, n. It, but this n should be 1,000. I call, I call the length just to double check, make sure it is 1,000. Okay. And that's just generate a figure. Yeah. What, what made you, okay, how do you know with your Instagram and your arrows, the, the number, I don't know the numbers are pertaining to, but they're a little different than the ones we had for figure 3A. How do you know exactly what number took place? Oh, how do I make the plot, basically? I guess. Yeah. Make the plot, that's kind of try and error. I first plot it, it doesn't look good, I feel back changes. So that those numbers, uh, uh, those numbers uh, I put in there because I plot it and then make, make a little modification, see whether it's going to make it look uh, more pleasant or not. So the histo, that's generally the histogram, and x limit is tell, telling the, the function what's the range of the histogram it's going to plot. And then I say arrows, that's just a pointing the arrow. So the pointing arrow means it's uh, arrows. It's going to pointing. The arrow has to specify by two points. So there's two points which is called uh, x0, y0, that's one point. And then x1 and y1, that's another point. So the line has to be pointed by two points. So, um, sorry, I missed what is the zero and the zero point three? That's the range of the histogram I want to plot. The range of the histogram. Yeah, x limit. So that's the zero means it's a low limit, and point three that means high limit. So my range of the histogram is plot between zero and point three. Yeah. And the text command is just write a label. Yeah on top of my uh, arrow. 